from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I am Chris Hansen. That's Joe Stapleton. We are at Rivers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Coming up on tonight's show, local pro Griffin Abel is the new badass in town, and Jennifer Tilly has a bit of a Chinatown moment. I'm the worst. I'm brilliant. I'm the worst. I'm brilliant. Would you stop? Uh, Day two from Pittsburgh at Rivers. 5,000 to 20,000. These are the buy-ins of all the players. Who do you like today, Stapes? I like Matt Glantz. I'm actually hoping that season five we can roll out our new segment, Poker at a Glance, which is just a bunch of shots of Matt Glantz looking at his cards. This looks really exciting, but I have to post this before before I get felted. <laughs> While I'm still here. Stop. Right. <laughs> we are getting a little wild yesterday, like, huh? I'll probably take that place with you. What? I, I said was. We were getting a little wild yesterday, huh? It was. It was getting crazy. Turns. That's yes. My main man started already. I mean, bro, I'm also going to do Usually I don't like to play the first hand, but you know I'm feeling lucky. I'm Look feeling at good. Uh, I should have re-raised, and I would have been heads up with um, Donkey Lips. With Keith. Keith. You don't necessarily want to go heads up with Keith because oh, he's just flopped an up and down draw. Now yeah. Keith hit his ace. He's going to bet. <laughs> I have a really good hand, but I'm just going to fold because I have to post my Instagram. Keith bets his draw. He gets called by Dan Wolf. First hand, wild Griffey. And now raised by Griffin Abel. Both Abel and Morrow are high limit players here at Rivers, know each other very well. Griffin's playing. <laughs> Holy hell. So somehow on this board, yeah. an ace folds and a pair of fives is still in. All right. Turns a deuce. Go 50 to the dealer. Waitress. Waitress. Yeah, I do. Just let us know it's first hand every time you come in. So Griffin able checks over to Keith Morrow. Griffin's supposed to continue there, but maybe he's a little shy now that his flop raise got called. That image that you would remember. No. I'm the worst. I'm going to put a timer on my phone then. That worked The bet time. is 23 25. What's happening? Take it down. I'm going to show one hand, and it's going to be the only hand I'm showing all day. What did he show? Did you? Oh, you bluffed me. Oh, oh yeah. Did you that's have nothing? You had none <laughs> of the that. only one. I had an open ender. Oh, my gosh. So that's so annoying. Can I get in that with you, dogs? Yeah, you want in? Yeah. So right, if cool. I pay, I, I give you in five? No, if you pay, you get 500 from each yeah, you want to pay. What is, what is your, what is your um, proposal? Um, we're doing <laughs> the tip bet. Uh -huh. If Brilliant. your card is the first one to be drawn, then mm -hmm. you win 500 they want to They want to pay the tip. Yeah, yeah, we, we want, want to pay it because then they, they get a thousand. Would you like to be in? If what card is sufficient? So if it's a four, then you get five hundred from all three of us. I'm so confused. I couldn't even tell I had a full house. <laughs> I can't do any prop okay. bets. It'll rattle my brain. I think we just have a new Jennifer Tilly soundbite to play whenever we want. To be yeah. fair, they're not all doing all a very is, good job of explaining no, this prop No, no, stop out. it. She's You're out. confusing me. It's totally random. <laughs> no. And there's no sleeping in. No. I just need to have one odd chip. I just want to sit here and drink my coffee and look cute. <laughs> Success. So it's Nobody a turn, yet. Card, turn card. It's the sweat is on. Is a good sweat. Sweat. <laughs> That's great. Right, let's walk through this. Trelly has a pair of eights. Tilly's got a pair of queens. And Abel's got himself, uh, well, nice draws here. A straight draw and the flush draw. And he's just raised Jennifer's flop bet. I don't see how she gets away from this. Once again, in a weird spot, though, where she's got a strong pair up against a pretty sick draw. Like, she has got to fade a lot of outs if she calls. Re she re-raises to 6,500. You have a straight? <laughs> Let's do some business. How about you take that? <laughs> now we can't do any business, right? OK. I, think I thought you might have a straight. He he's more, has more than you uh, out here. Oh, that's OK. I'm yeah. all into. Yeah, yeah, I think she, th she didn't realize she had the call. Uh, so more. sad. Oh. <laughs> so sad. So sad. <laughs> You're good. I am good? Right now. 
Now not now good. Oh, good. now you're not good. For the, pair of the she blur. Is drawing dead. Yeah. Two pair, no good. Jennifer Tilly is terrible at fading, so which I sad. guess is really good news for an actress. Okay, can we count count out? I bet I get something back. Yeah. Because yeah, I've been tearing well, it up here. I probably have about 27 cents left. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. <laughs> Jeez, Tad, I told you to stop doing that. It's even smaller. God, he's my brother and he's even creepy to me. That is why everyone thinks he's such a weirdo. <laughs> Seriously, the editor's like, I think he pays the editor to put him in the show. I had the juice, Griff, all right? Yeah, yeah, I had two, four. <laughs> There she is. Whoop, there it is. We got the 500 ready. Oh, yeah. What, what, for yeah, the, your I just, um, I hate continuation bet? Oh, just, for you. Seven, 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 three, just seven, send six, it over five, this three. You guys won't need to worry about it no more. How many are in us? Four, four total. Four for you, them too? Alec, you in. Oh, for what? Four. Never mind. This top, prop this bet, they're doing prop, prop betting. Bet thing. Uh, they're doing manly prop betting. For 500 bucks. Um, three, yeah. four, five on the flop, please. Can you spread the flop really so, slow? What happens? Sorry. Go in every flop. I'm, I'm in. Did, I'm in. Yeah, right. Alec, Alec is in. Alec is in. I don't know what we're doing. Alec is in. Ship it! Oh my god. Three. It's the four. So what do you we have to do? Five oh, well, that sucks. That's so sick. They don't give it away in poker. Let's go. I'm checked. Am I missing one? Oh no, I didn't uh, need to pay mine. I'm done. I just so don't. Keith, I hate having odd chips like that. And I owe her 50 bucks. And there's a tip. Thank you. Unbearable. So here's what's happening. Keith Morrow just won because he has to pay the tip. The players have all agreed that they're going to tip the first hand the dealer sits down based on what card plays first around the table. Since it's the three that plays first, he's in the three seat, he has to pay the $50 tip to the dealer, but everyone who was in the game had to give him 500 bucks. Oh, that's nice. Everybody wins. I mean, except for the people that had to give up the 500. They all lost. So Jennifer Tilly's flopped a set here, and what a terrible board to flop a set of threes on. I like Alex Powder Blue Sports Care. It's part of the J.C. Penny 1990s wrestling ring announcer collection. Who's got the lower plunging neckline, Alec Torelli or Jen Tilly today? Because <laughs> right now it's it's, Alec. it's neck and neck, isn't it? Three thousand. Five people in the hand. <sighs> I've got hmm three. Three, three. I have nine outs if you have a, a flush. <laughs> By the way, that's an overbet. And I don't know how often Alec would overbet the turn with an actual monster. Said I'm happy if you have nine outs. Mm -hmm. Because it means he can probably get you to fold if you miss the river. Okay. Let's see what happens. That's a call. That's an all in call. I'm, I think that puts me all in, right? Oh no. Then I can't bluff the river. <laughs> this, what? Is a, this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, this is really sad. Well, I'm, I'm going to, you need 400. Okay, here's 100. I, I'm well, like the worst poker player ever. I mean, there this is go. kind of, a, okay. This is a kind of a what? What's that? This is an interesting yeah, spot. It's sure. an interesting you, you spot. Absolutely it is. <laughs> okay. Pair the board. Jen always has unconventional lines. This yeah. Is, this is one of them. Right, yeah. yeah. What up, Stubber? So what do we... Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, I can't fold now. If you check, I'll check. If you push me all in, I, I'm afraid I'll have to call. <laughs> oh, gosh. I Poker. check. Poker is what? I check. Uh, I check, too. I have a set. You have a set? You yeah. Win. Woo, I win. Oh, Damn, girl. Damn, you really are running that up, huh? Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, sometimes. She is. That's all. Yeah. Nice, man. 2K. You're to welcome. 10. Quick. There, run it up. Phil held me style. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to start shopping at Target. No more Louis Vuitton no for you. Louis Louis. Target. Looks like we got a straddle and a re-straddle. All right. So the guy in the orange hoodie is just a paid extra, right? Yeah, he actually isn't going to play. Sorry, background performer. Six. The raise, Alec. Six hundred. I mean. Oh, my god, Daniel Wolf. He seriously looks like he's wearing the transitional makeup from every werewolf movie ever. Oh, the baby put the baby on the card. He does have Lady Kings, by the way.
that new? Do you new? do that to like, like try to scare people in pause like that? What's that? Like, you never do that, you <laughs> always do that. Lance is back on the three bet juice. Here comes Matt Glance with Ace King. He makes a 2,800. And this is such a nice looking squeeze spot for Glance. But I don't know how he doesn't get repopped here by somebody. Especially the Queens, but it looks like Alex thinking about it with Ace Deuce. Would you start with Matt? Like 11. 11 behind or you started with 11? Let's start with 11. Start with 11. Trolley's in position, so there's a small argument for him just calling. Yeah, there it is. Chris. Squeeze the squeezer. Save me. Full six total. Uh, Alec, my bite over there. <laughs> so tune up, up. Weird, that's like wide in. So Trelly raises enough to put both Wolf and Glance in if either one of them calls. I mean, this is such an obvious squeeze the squeezer spot that Denim Vest Dan has to make the call. Wow. Everybody call? Uh, I should have called. I would have hit a set and everybody would have felt the pain. Slow roll up. You're in second place right now. That's like a lot. Yeah, let's just go. Come on, it's better for the show. Everyone turns it up. Lot it's not money. better for the show. I have pocket threes. Uh, uh, so we are three uh, ways uh, all in uh, to this flop. Oh, my widow. has got everyone covered. That's but the worst, worst hand. You have get a good hand. Not a foldable hand. Thank God. Oh, it is time to take a break on Poker Night in America. Please, we're only human. Do we not deserve a break? <laughs> what do wizards drink, Cletus? Uh, so what are you drink, Bag Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Bag bomb. Bag bomb. It's Phil Helmuth here. I'm with Kelly Winterholter. She smashed me up a little bit today, but now we're in the Kimosabi Mezcal kind of area, the trusted friends area, and you're telling me that your best trusted friend is your... My dog. By a lot. He's the best. I love Name? Him. His name is Tofu. He's, tofu? Yeah. <laughs> what a Bay Area I name. I know. He's, he's my little soulmate. He's just the sweetest guy. When he's happy, I'm happy. I'm always excited to see him. I get a little celebration every time I come home. And I have a cat. And they love each other. It's very sweet. I met your dog. Your dog's yeah. very cute. Yeah. I was petting him downstairs. That was great. I know. I put him in a little service vest and I took him through the casino. It was his first time in a casino. Uh -huh. So immediately he sees a slot machine and he just flips out at the slot machine. I'm like, I'm hiding <laughs> him. I'm hiding him under <laughs> right. the Who's, What's that? No, Whose dog is barking? You're a, you're a service dog. Keep it together. Keep it together. Anyway, okay, Kelly. That's an awesome story. And cheers to you. Cheers. Trusted friends. Trusted friends. Kimosabi Mezcal. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America with Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. We must show you more poker. Poker Night in America at Rivers in Pittsburgh, brought to you by Kimosabi. The straddle is on. Griffin Abel's in for 100 blind. Our extra folding. Thank you for coming. Get your vouchers on the way out. I'll try um, three and a quarter, please. 325. Sounded like you were on Jeopardy. I'll try three and a quarter, please. Alex? Call, thank you. Squiggles for three and a quarter. Okay. Three I hope I win this one. this one. In. Check. I'll try um, 550, please. Alex? Alex? Not Alex. Alex. Uh, I mean, I heard people calling my name. I'm not 15. even in the hand. 32. Oh, yeah. 1500. Do you have seven high? Because I can't beat seven high. You can't? Well, I might believe you. Morrow calls. Yep, it's 
still kings. Check. I check. <laughs> check, check on the turn. Might as well be kings. Uh -oh. Did you hit a jack? What is it, Jen? Poker is exhausting. <laughs> oh, are you gonna take a stab 24 at it? Twenty-four seventy-five, please. <laughs> One. Okay, no, you don't have a two. Unless you had some sort of pocket pair thing going on pre-flop. I really, I had a good hand. I swear to God. It don't look so good now. Maybe I should have checked the turn. Maybe had a jack. You hit a jack. Jen. Oh, right a fold. Good fold, big lady, Jen. Big lady down. What'd you have? What did I have? Yeah, can, which one can I pick? That one? No, pick yeah. this one. That one? No, pick this one. Because they're both the same. They are both the same. That is true. They are both All the right. same. Nice and nice and. <laughs> but Griffin Abel, double straddling this time. We got over 300 bucks in this pot blind. Raise Alec. I got a good straddling. Those to me be playing. <laughs> Raised by Torelli, called by Abel. That's what happens when you straddle and feel forced to call pre-flop. End up doing with a hand like 10 tray and <laughs> whiffing. Check. 800. So it continues with top pair. And Abel raises him. You play four in this also, or mostly just? Change. I'll admit, yeah. raising's better than a call. Uh, yeah. Are you going? But I think it's going to take more than that to get Alex Torelli off this hand. I like that. Abel is a Rivers regular. They have a lot of good Torelli is a Poker Night in America regular. Yeah. The two of them yeah. going head-to-head yeah. -head in this hand. Yeah, I was there once. Mm -hmm. That's the one in Hollywood, right? Seven yeah. of spades on the turn. I think it's like an Indian reservation. So the board gets straightier. Uh, uh, Abel's got a legit draw now. My boyfriend's mom lives there, so he always likes to go down. Oh. Always like system and a little hard rock stop. His sister lives in Pittsburgh, so we go, we go where his family is. Mm -hmm. I think Florida's a better place for sure, at least mm -hmm. the weather. Yeah. The vibes down there are way better. All right, Abel, you're going to take a stab. He does. 4,500. And I think this is a side call on the end for Alex Arelli. It's a great board to bluff, but it's also a pretty chunky bet. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he check raised the flop, so you got to replay the entire hand before you're really thinking on the river. So on the river, you're you're thinking about what happened pre-flop, what happened on the flop, what happened on the turn, and you're starting with all the possible hands that he could have here, and you're funneling them down this way until you get to what you think his hand is. Two questions I don't know the answer to makes it hard to make a decision. You should, I think you should, you should probably wear that with the board. What hands that beat me would he play this way? And I was comparing that over here with what hands that are bluffs that he would play this way. And I, I just concluded that there's more bluffs that he has than hands that beat me. Because I don't think he's gonna value bet the river very big on the end unless he has a straight or nothing. All right, I can't. You win. Wow. Nice he bets so quickly, he bets so big. I watched him, he seemed a little uncomfortable. I, I put all that together and I made the call and I was right. Nice. Oh, it's Sean? Yeah, if we're He's got too many tips in the tournament. Oh, yeah. He, fl he slow rolled me. Yeah, yeah no, I'll get him, I'll get him back. Yeah. yeah. I'll slow roll him, slow it. Slow roll is in the way. Play the donkey song. Give him the bunny ears. Oh, my God. Crazy. Wolf folds. Looks like Lance is going to play. He's got queen, so he raises it to 800. Wow. Eight, Eight yeah. cuts, almost a min raise. How can I resist? It's almost three X. Yeah, but it's like a third of my hat, my pot, one, two. No, but it's, it's not, not three X, it's okay. almost a min raise. See, it's like, yeah. I check. It's a real raise. I check. It's a manly raise. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I was impressed. Until he calls and hits top pair on the flop. I'm all in. And I must call. Uh-oh, that's oh, not a good sign. Queen Jack. What? 
What do you Queen have? Jack. How does he know? You have a straight? No, I don't have a straight. Oh. Uh, no, I have a no, straight. No, we both have a straight. Oh, fair game. Excellent, excellent. Now you win. What? <laughs> you win. What happened? Because you're playing with the Queen oh, of Hearts. Oh, I like that. Well, this is excellent. <laughs> That's even Look, better. Look, I turn my cards over instead of burying them in shame and the muck. Everything's I'm funner when you go runner, runner. One last break here on Poker Night in America, but if you want to see how the players fared, stick around. Chip counts after this. Go broke. Woo, 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 woo. What do wizards drink, Cletus? Uh, so whatever you, you drink, Bagus Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Bagus bomb. Wait, are you raising? No, you're not. What's hard, happening? Hard to raise at this what? That's, that's a string raise, right? Wait, what happened? One, two, wait, one, two, three, four. What did I bet? Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. I am Joe Stapleton, and Chris Hansen is about to tell you who's making and who's losing money. Well, we're going to stop day two here. The biggest winners and losers clearly visible by the uppy and downy arrows on the right-hand side. Jennifer Tilly, probably the most active player at the table. I'm surprised she's only down 5,000. Well, that'll happen when you go run a run on the last hand. Uh, that Patsy person has just made up, right? Didn't play a single hand, wore a hoodie. I don't even know if Patsy's a man or a woman. Now, if you think you saw some bad play tonight, wait till next time we get a real wizard at the table. A guy dresses like a wizard. But, I mean, it's more figurative because he's not really a wizard. Like, he doesn't have any powers. He's, look, you dress for the job you want. Okay, fair enough. That's next time. But if you want to find out more about Poker Night in America, just go to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time on Poker Night in America. Sorry, baby. Griff, 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 Griff. You had, well, you had like a sort of a straight draw and then you had a flush draw. I don't blame you for your substandard play. <laughs> Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi.